the second time in their history in the NCAA tournament. The other matchup back in 2010 was won by UConn as the Huskies win the tip, and we are underway in the Elite Eight. Reigning Defensive Player of the Year, a finalist for it this season as well. Beckers had a look, didn't take it, now will, and hit. Paige Beckers, difficult shot to begin things for UConn. And she can get to the spot she wants to get to here. She'll play with you a little bit, then goes right, elevates. Oh, Dijanae Carrington will come off the bench likely very early for Baylor and come and grab Oliver as Urson gets free on a nice delivery from Egbo. Finish there, Egbo the offensive rebound. Good D from Nelson Adota, and UConn comes away with it, look at a push. Three on two, Westbrook the Euro step pops it in. Williams, guarded by Oliver, trying to take her off the bounce. Williams using her strength to finish. Neither of these teams trailed by more than two at any point through the first three rounds. Urson finds the cutter, and Oliver scoops it in. Nice offense there from Baylor. Westbrook will fire and hit from three. We've got a forward who can do what Smith just did, get the board and handle herself. Edwards comes up with a steal. Beckers lines it up and knocks it down. So is Connecticut. Aaliyah Edwards, the freshman with the steal, feeds the other freshman, Paige Beckers. Three, they're feeling it right now in San Antonio. And I think there's a lot of coaches listening who said, yeah, I can have a good time with Paige Beckers and Aaliyah Edwards. <laughs> Beckers back door lays it in. Nice delivery from Nelson Adota. You have space, you can get back door cuts like this because the other side of the floor, everyone outside the three point line. And how about Olivia Nelson Adota? That's your center. And their Sweet 16 game. They are moving today. They can't stand defensively. You have to move and cut and play fast. Edwards high off the window and in. Well, Rebecca, to follow up on that point, Coach Oriyama told his team it's all about space and... We're going to have to out-tough them. Beckers nearly threw it away. It did. Carrington flings it ahead to Richards, who lays it in as players spilled all over the floor. Look, Nelson Adota, Beckers turns, can't flip it in, wanted a whistle, didn't get it, and now Baylor running. Smith from Richards for two. Timeout, UConn. Richards looking for space, kicks, Urson in the corner, out of three! Carrington looked like she got hit, wanted a whistle, didn't get it, now UConn running. And Westbrook buries another three to end the 10-0 Baylor run. And now Baylor quickly into the front court, Carrington buries a three! She didn't like the graphic. Westbrook denied by Egbo. Carrington the push ahead. Urson rattling to the rim. Williams knocks down a three. Oh, so this far? is <laughs> tremendous. Beckers the pull up is good. The freshman Beckers with nine in the opening quarter of the Elite Eight. Five straight points for UConn after Baylor had cut it to one. Carrington found a lane to squeeze it in. The transfer from Stanford, Kim Mulkey said, hey, if she misses shots, she's not afraid to keep shooting. And now Smith on the steal. Melissa Smith lays it in. Williams. And that will do it. What a riveting! It's incredible, Holly. It's absolutely unbelievable. As Griffin knocks down the jumper, having to go through the physical therapy she did and playing at this level, it's simply remarkable. Here is Carrington ahead of the field, laying it in. 11 fast break points right now for Baylor. Nice dish. Westbrook and Carrington would have none of it. Has grown so much as a player, though, something Kim Mulkey pointed out to us today as well. As Urson lays it in, 
And this game is tied at 28. Coordinating producer Pat Lowry hanging out there as well. It's a party. Westbrook gets the roll on the three. Avina Westbrook, 11 points. She's three for three from downtown. Beckers thought about it. Beckers, the pull up. Oh, yeah. Eggbo slips inside and finds an angle. Ursin flipped it up short. Eggbo from 12. Oh, yeah, she's got it. Kim Mulkey told us, she said, you know, we have very different styles offensively. I think we're very similar defensively. As Carrington puts it in and gives Baylor the lead for the first time tonight. Nine points off the bench for Dijanae Carrington. Griffin on the cut gets rejected by Smith. Carrington lost it. Melissa Smith can't hit. Carrington the follow. Dijanae Carrington. It's really important to know after Holly's report and Gene Oriama talking about loading up the paint. It's very different to load it up with Griffin than it is with Edwards. Man. Made the point about Edwards. Edwards a plus five in that first half for UConn. Griffin a minus seven. As Williams can't finish. On the follow that drops in for Kristen Williams. Persistent effort. These teams have ever met in the NCAA tournament. They met in the semifinals back in 2010. A UConn win as Beckers slips inside for two. 15 points for the freshman Beckers. This is a UConn team without a single senior. As Carrington leans in, flips it home, plus the foul. So that time, in the first half, Gino Ramo is telling Olivia Nelson to Dota to take a charge. This is what it looks like. She's acquitted herself beautifully so far tonight with 18 points thus far. Carrington again. She has been a monster. They were a plus 82 in the paint through the first three games of the tournament. And it's often their guards getting out in transition, getting those point, paint points as well. Well, that is a bonus for Ben. Griffin denied by Smith, out of bounds off Griffin. This is the largest deficit UConn has faced in the tournament. Smith connects. A big fist pump from Kim Mulkey. After watching her star, Alyssa Smith, make it a seven-point game. Carrington leans in, doesn't get that one. What a tip from Melissa Smith. Urson guarded by Griffin. Urson's pull up is good. Moon Urson with 12 points on the night. She's had at least 20 in each of the last three entering tonight. Becker's nice cut to free herself for two. It's a 20 point evening for the freshman Bexbrook. Williams open a three is good. A big one for UConn. Beckers, a three. You bet! And you can see Kim Mulkey turning back to the bench to check on the status of Dee Dee Richard. Beckers doesn't get the roll. Edwards, the offensive rebound, and UConn is back in front. I liked how the last set ended, though, for Connecticut with an on-ball screen for Paige Beckers. Beckers, the leaner, rolls in. 25 for Beckers. Here's Beckers, another three. You bet. Paige Beckers is feeling it. Over the last five minutes, Williams adding to it. I'd take a timeout if I was Kim Mulkey. Settle the troops. Eggbo and Richards both on the bench right now for Baylor. Melissa Smith to the hook. 
That's a pro move from Nalissa Smith. Katie Richards to be injured and out after everything she's been through. And can someone else on Baylor step up? Bickle trying to. How about that finish across her body to make it a five-point get? Deckers guarded by Carrington. Williams swooping through and laying it in. 18 points for Williams. Andrews storming into the lane. Nice finish from the freshman Andrews. Freshman Andrews at the point with Dee Dee Richards injured and out. In the corner, Urson, the jumper, no! And a foul against UConn. Smith working the post. Melissa Smith leans in, rejected by Edwards. Williams dashing ahead, stops, and lays it in! We still want her with the ball in her hands, though, Ryan. Williams misses the layup. Rebound, Baylor, and a timeout is taken. And Williams misses the first. The second one for Williams. It's no good. Timeout, Baylor. Six seconds left. Carrington on the drive. Carrington forces it up. No. Rebound, UConn. And with four tenths of a second left, Williams is fouled. Williams misses another free throw. Williams' second free throw is good. Bickle down the floor, caught by Beckers, and the streak lives. A 13th straight trip to the Final Four for the UConn Huskies.